What's going on guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I want to say thank you for visiting my channel. Hey, um, today I want to talk to you guys about just growth as a person and what it takes to get growth as a person and how you need to step outside of your comfort zone and how you need to feel uncomfortable and things like that. But a lot of that stuff you've already heard before. The question is, how do you make that stuff stick? How do you become the type of person that you keep thinking that you want to be? You know, I really do believe it all starts from making yourself uncomfortable. I think that is the secret to growth and success in life. And here's why I think I know that to be true, okay? Now, you may have heard of this organization, maybe not. It's called Toastmasters. What it is, is there a group of people all over the world that get together, you know, you pay your dues, you pay your membership fees or whatever, and in exchange, you get to be, become part of this community of people who learn how to be better public speakers. And as a result of that, you end up gaining more confidence, more, you become more polished, and you become an overall better leader. It's a very well-crafted program. And I'm bringing that up as an example because it's just a perfect analogy for every other part of your life. Because in Toastmasters, basically what you do each week is you get in front of people and you give a speech. You're constantly being put in situations where it's uncomfortable. I mean, it's completely uncomfortable. You get up there and it's like, ah, I got to prepare for a speech. I got to speak in front of these people. They're going to look at me and think I'm an idiot. They're going to laugh at me. I'm going to fumble over my words. I'm not going to remember what to say. These are all things that you have to be constantly thinking about. But you do it anyway. And what happens is, after you do this over and over and over and over again, after you keep putting yourself in these uncomfortable situations, you end up stretching your comfort zone and as a result of that you become better you grow and it's the same way with anything you do I really do believe that anytime you want to grow in any area there has to be some level of discomfort or being uncomfortable first and see a lot of people think oh well it requires pain no it's not pain it's not pain it's not necessarily pain. Like people think, oh, in order to be successful, you got to, you know, be willing to put in 15 hour days and be willing to stay up all night working on stuff. And you got to work on yourself to the point where, you know, no, 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 it's not, it's not necessarily about that. What it is, you have to put yourself in situations that make you feel uncomfortable leadership situations because you have to stretch till you become the person that you want to be so let's just say your boss comes to you and they say hey uh, we're going to need you to, to lead this meeting right now we've got 15 of the district managers from all over the country coming in but I'm not going to be able to make it so I need you to lead the meeting it's next Tuesday at 3 o'clock how does that make you feel when you hear those words? Is it just like, oh God, I'm going to have to speak in front of all those people, all the big wigs of the company, and I only have a week to prepare? Why did they spring this on me so quickly? I don't have time to prepare for this. They're going to think I'm an idiot. I can't do this. I'm going to be nervous as hell up there. I don't know what to say. I'm going to forget my lines. I'm going to fumble over my words. Who's going to do my PowerPoint? I'm not even good at PowerPoint like that. Ah, damn, what am I going to do? See, these are the thoughts that most people have when they're not at that level yet. But what happens is when you overcome your fear, when you overcome the discomfort, when you stretch outside of your comfort zone and do it anyway, no matter what the, no matter what the outcome, just the fact that you even tried to do it, Let's just say you 
do a terrible job. You pull up your PowerPoint, the PowerPoint is missing five slides. You start talking and you're fumbling over your words. You know, you don't do as good a job as you thought you would have done. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, folks, you still are better than you were before you started. You grew. It was uncomfortable. You grew outside of your comfort zone. There was a zone that you were in. The moment you decided to step out on faith, to go out there and do something that's uncomfortable, you grew. Now you may look at it as a failure. You may say to yourself, ah, oh, damn, I didn't do a great job. People are gonna look at me like I'm a failure. Maybe. But the question is, because remember, it's not about everybody else, it's about you. The question is, are you better off? Some of you might say, well, you know what? Sometimes, man, it's, it's not even worth trying if you're not going to be able to do a good job at it. Well, no, it's always worth trying because there's always going to be other opportunities, guys. Always. But people don't like to feel uncomfortable. So they avoid potential opportunities where there could be growth. That's why there's so few successful people. I mean, there's a lot of successful, successful people, but as a percentage of the population, most people don't like to feel uncomfortable. And that's why people are not reaching the heights that they could be reaching right now. So I want to encourage you to look at what it is you're doing on a day to day basis. Are you too comfortable? Are there some things that you could be trying out? Something that you could be doing that's different, new, refreshing, challenging, something that makes you feel ah, a little uncomfortable? Something that you know for a fact is stretching you. It's definitely stretching you and it's making you nervous as hell even thinking about it. That thing is something that you need to do and you need to do it ASAP and don't even worry about it because you're gonna grow as a result of it. This is Malcolm, you're on Malcolm Talks. Subscribe to my channel, share it, like it. <laughs> you know how we do. I'ma holler at you guys, peace.